The topic of this video is the power of magnification in dentistry. This is a subject that I have been lecturing on for over 30 years, and it involves cameras, it involves surgical loops, uh, it involves microscopes, it involves high resolution uh, display, and it's unbelievable the increase in motor control and understanding that affects outcomes, long-term outcomes. It's a very powerful tool in communication to patients, not, not as a sales tool, but as a educational tool to make the patient or allow the patient to understand the advantage of doing certain things at a certain level. Um, it's, it's very powerful for documentation and uh, insurance purposes. When, when a, a carrier says, well, you didn't need that and we're not paying for it, when you can send uh, highly magnified images, we just don't get any arguments on the need for treatment or reimbursements. Um, but it's, it's uh, more than anything, it helps understand reasons for doing things. And so with magnification, and we use anything from two and a half power loops, uh, my standard ones are four and a half power, uh, but I trained under a surgical microscope that goes two and a half to to uh, 25 power, and uh, the camera goes six and a half through the viewfinder, 18 on the screen, and this is blown up to probably 100 power behind me. But patients can see their own decay. They can see their own contamination. They can see their own demo disease, and then it's not somebody diagnosing something and telling them something. They can participate in the understanding themselves. And so it, magnification is the strongest tool I think we can use in dentistry for improving outcomes. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, hopefully.